prints, various types of modules are used in addressable fire alarms such as isolator modules, monitor modules, control modules, zone monitor modules. In today's video, we will learn about the monitor module. In this video, we will learn what a monitor module is, how it works with an example, what its function is, in which applications it is used, how its wiring connection is done and how it works. Let's start the video. Friends, sometimes the fire alarm monitor module is also known as the input module. The input module receives input signals from third party devices which are non-addressable and sends signals to the fire alarm panel with an address. That means when third party devices need to be connected to an addressable fire alarm panel and their pin location needs to be seen, the monitor module is used. Friends, third party devices which are non-addressable devices such as flow switches, tamper switches, manual push stations, conventional beam detectors are connected with the monitor module and the monitor module is connected with the addressable fire alarm panel via loop wiring. And this monitor module has a unique address. This means the monitor module monitors the status of third party devices and reports to the fire alarm panel. If the status of the third party device changes, the monitor module sends a signal to the fire alarm panel with the address. This means you get the status of the fire alarm along with the pin location of the third party device. Friends, the output of a third party device is a tri-contact common N and HC and there is no need to provide any external power supply to this monitor module. So friends, let's see the working of the monitor module with an example. Here look, it's a commercial building. A sprinkler system is installed and a voice flow switch is installed on each floor and an addressable fire alarm system is also installed in the building. If a fire event occurs, the sprinkler breaks and the flow switch operates. But right now, we won't know on which floor or in which zone the sprinkler has broken. If we need the pin location of the flow switch, then the monitor module will be used here. Look here. Now we connect the flow switch with the monitor module and assign an address to each module and then define this address name in the fire alarm panel. Currently each flow switch is in a normal condition. If a fire event occurs, the sprinkler breaks and the zone's flow switch operates. When the flow switch operates, the connection status changes, activating the monitor module and it sends a signal to the fire alarm system. Here, look when the 6 floors flow switch is activated, the panel shows address 6 monitor module name 6th floor water flow switch, indicating the pin location of the flow switch. So friends, we saw how the monitor module works with an example. Now let's see what the functions of the monitor module are. First, status reporting to the fire alarm control panel, meaning the monitor module sends the status of connected devices such as normal, alarm, trouble status, open or short information to the fire alarm panel. Second, addressability, meaning the monitor module has a unique address and the fire alarm panel gets the exact location of the connected device's pin. Third, isolation and supervision, mean meaning when the monitor module is connected with devices, a volt register connects. This volt register performs the function of line supervision. This means if there is an open or short in the wire between the monitor module and devices, it observes and then indicates a fault. Fourth, no need for an external power supply. The monitor module doesn't require any external power supply. Friends, there are different types of monitor modules available in the market by manufacturer such as single input monitor module, dual input monitor module, mini monitor module, input output module. Friends, let's see in which applications the monitor module is used. Water flow switch, tamper switch for wall, non-addressable manual push station and flame proof MCP. Friends, 
Sometimes when using a non-addressable manual push station and a flameproof MCP is installed in a one thund area which is mostly non-addressable then we use a monitor module. Conventional beam deter friend in beam de detectors conventional beam detectors are used the most because loop powered beam detectors are found in very few companies and their cost is also higher. When you need to connect a conventional beam detector to an addressable fire alarm then a monitor module is used. Emergency door contact friends if an emergency door is opened then we need their alert or indication on the fire alarm panel then we use the monitor module. LSS cable linear heat sensor cable friends if we connect the LSS cable with an addressable fire alarm panel using the monitor module Sometimes an LSS controller is also used in the LSS cable. Then we connect it with the fire relay to the monitor module and connect it to the addressable fire alarm panel. Integration with conventional fire alarm panel, gas release panel and waste system. Friends, sometimes we need the fire signal of an individual conventional firing panel or gas release panel in an addressable fire panel. Then we use the monitor module friends this conventional fire panel or in the gas release panel using relay contact in it connect with the monitor module and can take the fire alert in the addressable fire system. When we install the monitor module what things we should keep in mind and tips I will tell you. First the UR register should, should always be installed in a third party device and its value should be checked to ensure it's proper. Second friends, in one monitor module we will connect only one device. We cannot connect multiple devices to a single monitor module. That is not the correct practice because we won't get the pin location of which device was operated. Third, always install the monitor module with a black box or enclosure. Fourth. The module should always be installed in an accessible location so that we can properly test and maintain it. Friends, now we will understand the wiring connection between the water flow switch and the monitor module. Here we have taken the notifiers monitor module MM1. The loop cable of the fire alarm will be connected to the T1 and T2 terminals of the monitor module. The cable that comes out from the water flow switch is connect to the T7 and T6 terminals of the monitor module. In the water flow switch, the connection is made at the common anode terminals and the UR register is also to be installed at the common anode terminals. The value of the UR register is defined by the manufacturer and here the value we have is 7k ohms. This UR register should always be installed in the terminal of the device. If we install it in the terminal of the monitor module then if the cable between the device and the module opens or shorts we will not observe it and will not get the fault indication in the monitor module. If we have installed the UR register in the terminal of the device and if the cable between the two opens or shorts we get a fault indication in the monitor module. Now the water flow switch is in normal condition meaning the circuit is open between the common and no terminal and a green indication is shown on the monitor module. If friends a fire event occurs then the sprinkler breaks and the water flow switch operates then the circuit closes between the common and no terminal in the flow switch and the monitor module receives the fire signal and a red indication is shown on the monitor module. The monitor module immediately sends the fire signal to the fire alarm panel which alerts the system. So in this way we have seen the wiring connection between the water flow switch and the monitor module and how it works. If you found this video informative please like and share and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more technical videos like this. If you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section. See you in the next video until then thank you.